Hello guys, it is Nerdy, Nerdy Dude 101 here, and I am here with a new YouTube series thing, and it's going to be about Java programming, or is it Java scripting? But this is going to be about Java, Let's leave it at that. Now what I'm going to do in this series is I'm going to make a simple program that you guys asked me to make. This is just gonna my this is just my first one. I just started learning Java about a week ago. I know the very basics and I know a lot of you are like, oh well I learned the entire Java in a week and stuff like that. No. I, I'm still learning. I know some of you are like do you think you're prodigies out there? Well I'm not, okay. I just started learning. But anyways, I made this program just kinda prove to my parents I can do things other than video games. Not exactly the most fun program. This is just a basic explanation of how to use some of the things that might get a little complicated. I don't really need to read it, just look at this part. It's supposed to be a do here, I forgot to fix that. Okay, do you, do you have a mortgage type? One for yes, two for no. So, I don't have a mortgage. I am 14, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you guys what it's going to do. I'm going to type one. Please type your mortgage here. Say I have a mortgage of $45. A car payment? No, I'm 14. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to put yes. Say I have a car payment of $60. Typing completely random numbers. Do you have a water bill? Type 1 for yes, 2 for no. Now, as you can see, this says type your last five water bills. This is because whenever you have a water bill or whatever, it's not going to stay exactly the same every time. You're going to use more or less water, and it's going to charge you more or less for the water you use. So the best thing I can do is I can average it by using a simple averaging setup. So I type in my last five ones, it averages it out, and then it uses that average to give me how much it's most likely to cost. Because, I mean, unless you're going to go have some, like, water balloon party or something, it's not going to change drastically. So I'll see I have a water bill of forty five dollars $56, $45, $78, $34, and $87. So then it just took those numbers, averaged them, and asked me do you have an electric bill? No, I do not. Again, I'm 14. But, for the sake of the video, I do. Same thing here, it's going to average them out, so 45, so, oh wow, 7, that, that's a lot, 36, 99, and 12. Do you have a gas bill? No, I don't, but I'm going to type it in anyways, 34, 65, 87, 49, and how about $100? Do you have a garbage bill? Yes, I do. Oh, I typed 11. Really, it's just two or any other number besides one. As you can see, it didn't count anything. It didn't ask me for what it was. It's just like, okay, he didn't type one. One means yes. That means he typed no, because he didn't type one. Therefore, he doesn't have a garbage bill. Don't include it. So, that's an example of saying no. I don't have a garbage bill, apparently. Where do I put all my garbage? I'm scared. On um, property tax, yes. Um, let's see, I have that. No. It's a little too high for Java to recognize. Let's say 123, yeah. Do you have homeowner's insurance? Say I have homeowners of $167. Type your balance here. This is the current amount of money in your balance or your ba bank account. Let's see, I have $300 in my bank account. Um, please type your interest rate per day. Per day. Interest rate per day. That is important. Most of it, this is all per month. All of these per month. Per month, per month. That is also very important. If you're going to use this, it has to be per month. So it's set up. Okay, so interest rate per
per day as a decimal, because you can't do percents as far as I know. Type it first, then also type the amount of money you get put into account each month. So like if you have a job, and you're putting money into an account each month, maybe you're putting into a week, add that all up, but per month. Okay, so let's say I have an interest rate of 0.1, that's per day, 0 0.01 per day, and I put uh, per month $190, no, $190 per month. <clears throat> My voice is really scratchy today. Okay, so now it's, th this, well, that's, I went bankrupt here. Now it's going to display to me how much money I have, it, it takes how much I had in here already, my balance, it takes all my bills, it takes the average of all the averaged bills, and then it takes the number of these, like so, 100, and it'll take it all, then it'll add that all up, it subtracts it from this, then it adds the amount I'm making every month. Then from that, it adds the balance. And then it prints it out. So apparently, I am spending more than I'm making because I have $123. Then I have negative $105. Negative $404. Negative $792. And so on and so forth. This is over a 12 month period, so one year. So if I were to just keep this up, I would be $12,818 in debt. I hope that never actually happens to me in real life. Um, let's try this again. Let's see if I can actually not go bankrupt this time. Uh, please type your more here. I'm going to say I have a I don't know what a realistic number would be. I'm just going to type a bunch of random numbers. Okay, so 20. Okay, just for an example. Okay, if I were to type in 0, because it's just set for 1. If it's equal to 1, then that means yes. Because I don't think I can just type in yes. If there's a way to do that, please tell me in the comments. Because I'd like to do that. But if I type in 0, it says, okay, he said no. If I type in 2, it says, okay, he said no. Type in 1, it says, I said yes. So 1, 4, 6, 78, and 45. Do you have a gas bill? Let's say there was a major gas leak. I'm going to do 98, 87. Yeah, I had a gas leak. 156, 157, 192. Okay, garbage bill. I have a lot. Apparently, since I didn't. Get rid of my garbage last time, I have a lot of garbage, so $167. Property tax, yes, property tax here, 145 Homeowner's insurance, yes, $78. Let's say I have a balance of $400. I get an interest of 0.1 per day. It's a really good interest. Believe it or not, even though it's decimal. It's one percent. So in a month, that's three hundred percent. It's a very good interest. I wish I had that. It'd be epic. Um. Then let's say I earn two fifty a month. Oh my god! I'm going bankrupt. So I did good for a while. Oh wait, no. Never mind. I didn't go bankrupt. I was actually in the millions. Okay. So I go up to $960, then I go up to 3200 and as you'll see, the number right here gets very small. And you also will notice that there is the letter E right there. Java has the disability of the fact that it can only go up to, what is it, it's like 100,000 or 1 million, I believe. Let's see. It can only go up to like 9,999,999. So because of that, it has to do with scientific notation. If you know what scientific notation does, then good for you, you're good at math. But 
If you don't, I'm going to explain to you right now. This E, well, scientific notation, here, let's see. You have a math lesson too, apparently. Scientific, scientific notation would look something like this 1.3 times, times 10. Where's the power thing? To the third power. It, this is always going to be 10 no matter what. This is always going to be multiplication. And this can be positive or negative. This cannot be negative 10 or any other number. And what this means is this decimal right here, move that over 3, since it's positive, to the right because you're increasing the number. So this would really be 1, 2, 3. That's really 1,300. But to make it smaller, because it's a big number, not really. Usually it's used for something huge like the 7th and like down there. That's that huge decimal, 1.957344, okay, so it's that, and it's 7th power, so that means I move the decimal over 7 times, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so that's the actual number that I have for the 8th month. That's how that works, so that e just means times 10. The number after the e is the exponent. Now if this number were 8, I'd move the decimal over 8. <clears throat> if it were 10, I'd move it over 10. <clears throat> but if it's a negative number, <clears throat> let's see right here, that means I'd move it over to the right. So decimal would be here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Back to the original number. Let's say I have a number like... This would be really back at 1.95, move it over 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Decimals right there. That would be your number. So that's what that E means, so you can read it. I'll save. So I did pretty good there with making money. <clears throat> and you can also use it just like, let's say you have a number, you have your money, you have your balance number, and you just want to see how much money you're going to make, you're not paying anything. So just get through everything, so you don't have anything. Oh, wait, that, oh, let me redo that. Balance, I'll say I have $100. My interest rate could be 0 .01. Um, if you make money, put that in. If you don't, don't put anything in. Just put zero. So then this is showing me how much money I make per month. So this is how much money I would have after 12 months. If I had 300 if I had hundred dollars in the bank making 0 .01 uh, interest rate per day. So that means that per month I would have Uh, oh, 0 0.01 times 30, no, 0 0.01 times 30, 0.3% per month. I had to get my calculator on my phone out. <clears throat> but that means that this is how much I would earn each month. There's probably some way to make all my coding better. This is just a brief look at it. I have a lot of these. I believe there's a way to make those faster, but I am not lazy, I guess. <clears throat> so in the comments, leave something basic that you'd want me to do, because I'm still learning. And in the and in the description, I will leave a link to a website where you can post things like this. I'll post it on the website. Leave you guys a link so you can download it if you want, use it yourself. And I'm also gonna leave a link to a website for a guy called the new Boston he's where I'm learning Java from he's a very he's very helpful he really is he's literally the entire reason I'm doing this because he taught me how to do all this basically 
His videos are really short, they're down to the point, and they, they're very good. He explains things very well, very fast. But not so fast, like, it's ridiculous. So yeah, leave something basic in the, in the comments, I'll leave that stuff in the description, and I will see you later, guys.